Right, what follows is uh, creating a route using Garmin map source um, between cross gates um, and Aberystwyth with seafront. Okay, so firstly let's zoom in to our start point using the zoom tool which is the magnifying glass up on the, uh, the menu bar here. Um, so if you zoom in to our start point which is going to be the service station at cross gates. So firstly select the route tool and click on your start point. And you'll see this elastic band type effect um, now from that point. So what we need to do now is uh, select our endpoint. So let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, select the hand tool, which is useful for moving around the map. Um, now we want to wipe somewhere in Abrus with. So let's zoom in. You can zoom in and out using the uh, these controls or even these controls here, but um, one of the easier ones to use is the zoom tool because you can select anywhere on the screen, whereas those two um, just zoom in and out to the central point on your screen. So we want to, um, the destination is going to be the, the snack hut on the seafront um, on Marine Terrace in Aberystwyth, which is just about here. So let's create a waypoint for that, seeing as it doesn't have one of its own already in the mapping data. So click using the, uh, the waypoint tool. Um, okay, let's give that a name, Snack Hut, okay, let's call it Abba Snack Hut, where it is. Give it an icon, a knife and fork. Right, now we go back to our root tool and you'll see that the elastic band comes back. Um, so if we click on the destination, it cr calculates the route for us. Now you'll see also that now I can set an onward point on the route, but I don't want to do that because that's the final destination. So if you just click the escape key on your keyboard, that will deselect that part of the part of the, uh, of the route for you. Um, right, let's view the route as a whole, what we've actually created. So if we go in this left-hand pane, you've got your waypoints, the one we just created, or the routes. Now it's text code to have a snack hut. So if you right-click that, show selected route on map, all right, there's the route we've created. Now currently it's a selected route because it's you can see it's selected here and you can also see that it is quite dense pink with a black outline. If you click the selection tool and click off the route, that's what an unselected route looks like. Now it doesn't quite follow the route I want to follow. I quite like to go through Landridge, Rod Wells, up to Riada, and then along the Elam Valley. I know there's a lovely road that goes up past the reservoirs here. And there's quite a nice point um, above one of the reservoirs um, where you can actually drive across the dam um, and there's a nice point you can take photographs. So let's select, a, create rather a waypoint um, there. I know it's about here somewhere. Right, it's just up here. So, right, here we go. Right, this is the uh, the road that runs across the dam, and we can park up here, um, have a have a little bit of a rest, and uh, take a photo. Let's set a waypoint there. So you don't necessarily need to put waypoints on a road; you can put them anywhere. But in this case, I'm going to put it there. So let's give that um, an appropriate icon, and we'll call it Photo Stop One. Okay, right. There's our waypoint. Um, now what we're going to do is uh, make the route pass through that point. So we need to zoom out a little bit until we can see our route. Select the route using the selection tool, which then makes it the active route. You can either do it that way or you can select it by clicking it in the route pane on the left here. Um, once you've, you've done that, if you click the route just with the selection tool, you'll get an elastic band between the um, either point, either side um, of where you've clicked it. In this case it's the, uh, the start and finish point. Anyway, we want it to follow uh, um, not that, not the 844 but up the, the Elam Valley, uh, the minor road, which you can't actually see at this zoom level. Anyway, so if we click now on that waypoint it will calculate the route for us. Right, now let's view, view the route as a whole again. View selected route on map. Right, that's better. It goes through Devil's Bridge as well. That's a nice road. Okay, now if we want to go via Landry Drug Wells, um, now we're going to change the route now, but using shaping nodes rather than adding a waypoint. You don't want to add waypoints for each change of direction. 
Um, you can, again, by using the selection tool, select the map, select the route rather, and then you can place that anywhere you like. Um, now, it's always best to place shaping nodes just after a junction on your route. The reason for this is that um, the GPS, um, as you're going along, if you've got the audio enabled, will call out the next junction, which is very handy if you know how far it is to the next junction and which direction you need to turn, you get full warning of uh, what's going to happen. However, if you drop a routing node before a junction, say here, you won't get any announcement of that upcoming junction um, until you've passed the routing node. So it's always best to drop them just after a junction. They'll also get announced, but um, um, but if it's just after a junction, then it'll pick up the next intersection. So if we put the routing node there, you'll see now that it follows just down through Landridge Rob Wells, along this road, and back up here. Now, I'd also quite like to go through Riada. So what I'm going to do is add another routing node just up here, so it takes us up this road into Riada itself, rather than going along this little lane. So again, if the route's not selected, like so, just select it once, or select it in the left-hand pane. And then using the selection tool again, click, add your node just after that junction there. So as soon as we have made this turning here, that routing node will get announced as approaching um, A470. A um, and then immediately after that it will say so many miles, uh, in so many miles, turn left onto um, whatever this minor road is, the B, whatever. Um, and then immediately after that you'll get that node called and then it will tell you just to carry on. Um, sometimes it, uh, it, it creates turns on hairpin bends, uh, tight bends, it might actually say um, turn right here when in fact it's going around a, around a tight bend, but uh, don't worry about that. OK, let's zoom out. That's our complete route. You can now um, export that to your GPS by using the center device, or you can do file, save as, and then save it in whatever format you like. Um, you can save it as a GPX file, um, which you can put to some modern, uh, write to some modern uh, Garmin devices. Thanks for watching.